Hey guys, how are you doing? Today is a special day because today we are going to create golden ratio flowers, some unique golden ratio flowers. So the first thing is select the circle tool or you can go to the menu, to the ellipse tool. It's right here. You can find it right here and then create the first circle. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Shift plus Alt and then create the circle. From here, we're going to go to the rotation tool press it and press and hold alt and go to this anchor point click on it and you can see here the 20 um, degrees you're gonna enter the 20 degrees and then press copy from here you're gonna press Control or command d you're gonna press it until it creates a flower a beautiful flower so here we have the golden ratio flower from here i'm going to press shift plus m or you can also select it from here from the menu shape builder tool and here we are going to mold this together okay and i'm going to select this we don't need the rest right now Okay, um, we're going to add a gradient. Actually, we're going to switch to fill. And from here, we're going to add a gradient. I already have one. Let's go to default. Okay, right now I have this. Um, okay, just put it on monochrome, black and white, nothing extra. Nothing extra. From here, you're going to press a radial gradient usually the default is like linear gradient but right now we're gonna do it with radial gradient from here I'm gonna change from black to white so basically the black is inside of the circle and I'm gonna press G you can see this we can manipulate uh, the gradient with this circle thing going on I need to increase the circle so basically I'm gonna hold this and I increase the circle and I'm gonna move it somewhere in the center of um, okay it's right here I'm gonna decrease the size a little more like this okay I think we got it but I'm gonna manipulate a little more get more gray inside uh, I think we good okay so it's gonna look something like this select it press the rotation tool again press and hold the alt and go to this anchor point click it and again copy Control D until it's going to create a nice flower or vortex. So far it looks beautiful. I'm going to select them all, group them. And from here, I'm going to decrease the, op the opacity of the white color to zero. You can see we got this, it's even more lighter. Um, I'm gonna grab this gradient slider increase a little bit so I can have more gray and we got it from here I'm gonna press control or command C and control or command F right click transform reflect vertical OK and voila we have a new flower or this only so this is a unique approach a more unique approach but now you can see how both of them are made and that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye